It's comic artist Pro Secrets. I'm Ethan Van Skyver, uh, your Uncle Ethan, a comic book artist with 25 years of experience in this business, in the comics racket. And uh, this is uh, something that, it's a series that we do called uh, Brutally Honest Portfolio Reviews. This is number 13. Um, very popular. This series is actually, people actually get upset when I stop doing these. Like I, I missed three days of, uh, of doing these portfolio reviews and people got angry. Where are the portfolio reviews? So glad you enjoy them. Uh, I will try to uh, struggle and endeavor to make this a, a daily occurrence. Um, yeah, uh, so brutally honest portfolio reviews. Uh, I want to be brutally honest. I don't want to be brutal. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but I do want to um, take the time necessary to uh, um, go over every portfolio that I receive and uh, just make sure that uh, it's a learning experience, hopefully for uh, the person who turned in the portfolio and anybody who's watching. Uh, whether you are an amateur hobbyist kind of uh, artist um, or somebody who intends to be a professional one day, everyone's welcome to send their portfolios and everyone is invited and encouraged to, to watch and uh, comment and hopefully learn something. So uh, meet Daniel. Uh, Daniel is a painter and a sculptor. Um, he has loved comics since the 1960s. So if that gives you any idea, he is an adult. That's one of the things we're worried about. It's like, I want to make sure that the people who do send these portfolios are adults and do have thick skin uh, so that I'm not worried about um, uh, being harshly critical. Uh, Daniel certainly meets that criteria. Um, he has sent in what is essentially their rough page layouts um, that are colored. So this is, you know, these are basically the uh, the thumbnails that he will turn into pages later, and uh, just to make sure that the the storytelling is good. Um, so right away, let's take a look at his entire page just for fun. We'll see the whole scope of this first effort. Uh, this seems to be page five, so uh, this is not going to be. Uh, a normal page one that establishes much of anything. We're just kind of establishing a scene. And uh, we have this fellow here. He looks like a thief in the kind of parlance of Dungeons and Dragons. He's picking this door lock. Uh, we can see that behind the door is untold treasure and riches. Um, he's got a female with him. And she, I, I, I love what she's doing to the drape here. This is really well drawn. This is very, very good. I think she's wiping off a sword or something. It's hard to say, but if that's what's going on, like maybe her sword was bloody and she's cleaning it off on the drapery. Uh, yeah, that's, you know, uh, you're not welcome in my home, but that's very well drawn. Um, perspective always tends to be a problem. Uh, we're finding that uh, storytelling and perspective seem to be people's biggest issues um, in telling these stories. Uh, this this is peculiar here. Um, I'm, I'm trying to work out exactly uh, what's going on. So uh, I'm not seeing too many lines, uh, perspective lines here. I mean, I can kind of use the door handle, uh, but this, this, this door handle here that he's picking uh, is not really, it's hard to say, it's not really drawn in any kind of perspective. It, it makes me think that the horizon line is right about here and he is kneeling and so maybe when he's kneeling, his shoulders are at her waist height. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good, I guess. It works. Um, yeah, he's gonna need to do, uh, I think when he finishes off a little bit, when he actually does the completed uh, uh, page, uh, he'll be more conscious of uh, drawing this door to fit in with the perspective. But the key thing is just to, you know, at this stage, just to watch that horizon line and make sure that the, if there's more than one figure on it, that they're relating to each other uh, at the same point um, on the horizon line uh, and that, uh, you know, they're kind of standing on the same plane and everything is kind of uh, working with that. So if the, see, here's the thing. If the horizon line is right here, um, and his shoulders are meeting at her waist, um, then everything else as well is going to be uh, in relationship to that horizon line and then like her waist and his shoulders when he's kneeled down. So this kind of pillar, this arc back here, um, and this level right here, it's like that's going to end up being probably at her head height. It's gonna be kind of short. Uh, is that what you want? You want, you know, okay, you know, that's fine. 
who's to say it's a it's a a mystical castle um but just kind of be aware that like everything is then going to relate to uh um, to that horizon line and i've done two or three videos on that I, i do recommend that if you are um new and learning about perspective and and you aren't uh, quite sure of what the horizon line is and what it means, please do go back and watch those two videos and maybe I will link them at the end of this video as well. I'll probably start doing that. I think it would be more helpful. Uh, so we open the door. Um, by the way, I'm not going to comment on the color work here. I don't feel qualified. I'm a penciler, an inker, a uh, storyteller. I've never, and I say this every time I do a drawing video um, in which I, I take out markers and just color my drawing. I'm like, I'm not a very good colorist. I'm, I'm Jeep, J, uh, you know, just educated enough to perform. Um, I, I wouldn't call myself, I would never color the interior of a comic book. They're just people who specialize in that and who are really good at it. Uh, I'd leave it to them. Um, so I'm not going to comment. I will say that it looks a little bit muddy. Um, I do enjoy these these bright pinks and purples, though, that are kind of breaking up the, uh, uh, you know, the, the dirty kind of backgrounds here. Uh, I hope that when the book uh, is finished and the pages are finished, you will be conscious of... Uh, of the like the kind of overall sort of feeling um, that the colors on the page give you, and this kind of like just you know blah kind of uh, colors. Even though they can be realistic, you might consider them to be real. Uh, they do have kind of a depressing effect uh, on art <laughs> when somebody's reading a story and they just see this pukey brown color everywhere. Uh, you're like, well, yeah, that's that's the way the world looks. Well, it might. Uh, but why does it have to? This is art. Let's, let's uh, you know, uh, make it look a little bit more pleasing. Um, so they open the door and there's lots of gold and, and treasure. Um, and she kneels down here or she lays down in the gold. Um, this, is, uh, this is kind of, I expect this to be better drawn. Um, yeah, this, this is not a very, uh, this is a very stiff um, figure. And... Um, this is the kind of thing where I think this this would almost be considered the uh, you know uh, anchor panel, uh, and we've discussed what an anchor panel is. Uh, on most comic book pages, there's one panel that draws the eye, um, and all the other panels kind of work around it to emphasize it. Um, this would be the panel that I think is meant to draw the eye. Uh, so I would actually probably. Um, and this is like such a dead on kind of like up and down straight panel. I kind of changed the angle on this and, and put her head facing us a little bit more. Let me see if I can get, let me earn my money here. We gotta do a redraw, which means I have to bend this, uh, this stand that's holding my iPhone camera. All right. Very high tech around here. Okay, it's got a pencil. Um, I would actually, I think, do something a little bit more like this. First of all, okay, so we put our head kind of facing us. All right. And we do want to show, I think, you know, we want to show a little bit of cleavage here. <laughs> uh, your pose is okay. And just bring the hands up close like this, like right in our faces, her hands. So we've got the ground, uh, we've got our leg here, just kind of. All right, and she's looking down. She's absolutely thrilled. I don't know, 
I could probably do better on the face. <laughs> All right. But this is the angle that I would choose. I think I would make the hands bigger as they were full of treasure. You know, they're right in our faces like this. Just full of, you know, golden necklaces, treasure all around. And uh, we can keep, you know, the kind of sex appeal by having her cleavage kind of pressed down against the gold. Believe it or not, you actually do have to think about things like this when you're a comic book artist. How can we make this drawing more appealing? Here's her little foot back here. I would <laughs> have a necklace just hanging off of her heel, you know, like that. She's just covered in gold treasure. Okay, so this is all mountains and mountains and mountains. You got a treasure chest over here. Okay, so I would I would cat a corner it like this. Okay, like kind of give it a little uh, angle there, and then this panel with the swords, which is perfectly okay. Swords is good up here and the entryway. Um, so that's kind of the the layout that I would have done. Um, just to kind of put her, I, I, I want to interact with her more. Um, I think that's what it is. And there's something about um, being head on, like being able to see someone's face entirely as they're showing you, even though she's not, she's looking down herself. She's looking down at the jewels in her hand and she is delighted. Um, but the fact that we can see her face now, instead of just like um, to the side like this, uh, just makes us a part of the story. Uh, makes us part of her uh, uh, her kind of uh, enjoyment of all of this treasure, and I think it makes for a better layout. All right, let's see the next page here. Um, uh huh. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. Are these pages out of order? Okay, so now now I think that this is page one. Guys, try some of your pages in order. I, I just, I mean, uh, I guess this must be page one. It's got a nice establishing shot of a building um, seen through a window. I really like this a lot. Uh, this looks terrific. Um, I, I'm not sure. Actually, I don't know what this is here, but the way, I don't know. Um, Hmm. Got some confusion about how to read these panels. Um. Yeah, I'm having difficulty with this one. All right, so this is panel one. This is panel two. I'm not sure what this is. I, I think this is uh, supposed to be the establishing shot. This or I think this is supposed to show this building from a different angle, but the way this blue kind of makes it look like it's coming out of the mist in some way and there's no line around it is confusing to me. But that's, let's just say, hey, that's because of the sketch. Now, from here, I don't know where to go. My eye doesn't know where to go. Do I, do I go down? I mean, these two panels are connected. Um, however, this and this aren't connected at all, unless, hey, we're, you know, maybe he's standing up here or something like that. Uh, or in, in the way you would read a comic book normally, you would go from here to here, okay? But this leads me right off the page into the next page. So I'm confused. I'm thinking he means to go like this maybe, but then I'm further confused because uh, we've got a close-up of an eye here, and then we show this woman who I think is swinging on a rope. 
Um, this isn't. This is terrible storytelling, um, Daniel. Uh, it really is bad because these these. First of all, you know you you've got to um, remember uh, how uh, how to lead the eye from one panel to the next. Um, I, I I wish I knew what order these panels were meant to go in because then I would actually help you um, by kind of redrawing and showing you a better way to lay this out. Uh, but this is incredibly confusing, and I it it does make me think that you mean for it to go in a a swooping kind of, you know, from here to here. Um, but that's not actually what happens. I mean, just in the course of reading this, you will go boom, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> your eye reads from, it reads from left to right. And that's just always the way it's going to go. It doesn't really do this. It doesn't go in a curly cue. Um, uh, so, yeah, I'm lost, but I think this is page one, and I think you sent me the pages backwards. Um, I th this must be page two, but I, I don't know. All right, so let's say this is page two, and let's say that basically what happened here uh, was that she swung into the building, whoever this is. She's wearing a mask here. This can't be the same character. Hmm, all right. So we've got a nice tall panel where she's got a dagger. This is good. This is all good. I like this shot here. This is a good um, high angle shot of the two of them. And then this, whatever these emotions are that are happening here, uh, you know, seems like more work is being put into the colors and where the, where the bright colors are going to go against the, the dim colors. Uh, more than anything else. Like, I, I really like the red here on his face. But I'm not sure why this character, who looks rather brave with the dagger, is responding to him, who's saying something like he's expressing almost fear or some uncertainty, and she's reacting, and then suddenly she looks terribly uncertain, and he's comforting her. Uh, I guess you know, that's why uh, uh, we need to wait for finished pages. Um, and then suddenly we're doing this again. So, I know it says, look, if you look down here, it says two, and if you look up here, it says one. I think those are just the panel, I think those are the panel numbers. There's a three here, four or five. Did you do that on that other really confusing page? No, you didn't do it here, <laughs> where we could have been aided by it. Oh, my God. All right. Good, good shot here. I like this a lot. Um... This rope cutting across here with this uh, person hanging uh, is really nice. Good, good. Uh, yeah, uh, I dig it. I do dig it. Okay, and then I think this is page four. She emasculates the man by putting her finger over his mouth to say shush. And he looks like, what? What did I do? Um, as she charges forward, that's fine. Um, and then this happens. Does she, do they bump into this ogre from behind? Or are they charging this ogre? And where is this ogre? Um, this is fine. I like this panel a lot. I don't, I don't know what's happening here. Uh, clearly, she's just stabbed him in the head here. And the man, by the way, throughout this is uh, a complete buffoon, which I'm not crazy about. But that's your storytelling choice. Um, and then we cut to this. This is the final page. Even though we reviewed it first, I think he only put it first because it's the most well-defined page of the group. Um, all right. So, uh, you know, basically, uh, I'm, I'm confused about this whole thing only because it seems like there are two stories going on here at once. We've got the story of this woman in the green mask. Um, and then we've got, and this ogre here. I think this is the ogre they just killed. I don't know where he is. I don't know where any of this is happening. This is very confusing. This page is a disaster. It's an unmitigated disaster because I have no idea, like I said, where to read. Um, this page needs to be completely redone. It, it just needs to be redone. And, you know, you can uh, you can take these uh, these panels and you can restructure them, the drawings. You can restructure them in, in a new way. But you have to remember, um, unless it's very, very clear... Unless there are objects 
in the within the panels that are telling us which direction our eye could go. I mean, technically you could do this. I mean, this is okay. This kind of downward slope is leading to this, which is leading us here. Uh, that's fine. Like there's, there's, there seems to be a progression, like a line, a swoop that goes here. But then we've got this eye and this woman who's go, who's leading us back up here, which is really strange. Um, it could have worked almost if you had reversed her, if you had put the rope going this way and, you know, her f like kind of swinging in this direction so that she leads us to the next page. That might have worked. Have her looking this way, reverse this drawing. Um, I would, yeah, maybe try it. Mirror reverse this drawing and see what happens. Uh, it might save the page. Um, but as it is now, and that's, that's only assuming that, that it was meant to be read like this. Um, you have to remember that it is, it's, it, you read it like this, it's, it's, you know, um, it's left to right. And, uh, it's important that you follow that because otherwise the, the reader's eye is going to get lost. And then, so we have this story and then I think this is a different character. The only because she's wearing green here, she's got the same kind of outfit, but she's wearing a mask here. Here she's wearing a brown kind of cut off outfit with no mask. And then this man appears out of nowhere. Don't know who he is. And then suddenly she's wearing a mask again, if this is the same character. It might well be that these two are, these two, and the pages are just terribly out of order and I can't tell that. Is this page two? I know it says two right here, but that's panel two. Hmm. Um, this is the best page out of the bunch. Uh, this page is also, it's, it's tricky. You know what, it, it, here's the thing also. It's like these two panels here where the characters are both kind of um, the same size on the page. They're the same size on the page. Um, and they're moving in this direction. But uh, I don't know why they bumped into this ogre. I don't know if they meant to bump into this ogre or if that was an accident. Uh, this murder panel is great. This panel is confusing. This panel's great too. You can see what's going on. I like his head. I like the, the sketchy uh, pen work on his facial expression here. I like that a lot. Uh, and this page is good too. Again, I would just redraw this right here. This panel is kind of flat. Uh, it's very 1980s. You know, it just reminds me of something that I would see in the 1980s. Um, this is great right here. Um, yeah, not bad, Daniel. I just, um, uh, it, it might be, it might be my fault because, uh, the pages are out of order and I didn't know how to read this and, and general guys in the future, please do send me four to six pages and put them in order so that I can actually read them because I'm not going to just go through and look at the art itself and look at them as individual pages. I do want to see some kind of narrative forming, uh, in the artwork. I do want to see, um, uh, you know, a story that I can easily read. Um, that is job number one. Remember, I mean, drawing is important. It's nice to be able to draw really well. Um, but the primary job that you uh, have, your, your primary task is to tell a story. And that's, I mean, that's easy to judge, um, you know, whether you've succeeded or failed there. Um, and in this case, I, I, I can't make heads or tails out of what's going on on these pages. I have to kind of make some guesses. Um, somebody said in one of the comments, they said, you know, um, it's almost like sometimes when you get real nitpicky about storytelling, it's almost like, you know, you've never read a comic book before. And to that, I say uh, fooey kablooey because uh, you have to uh, assume that the person who's reading this has never read a comic book before. Just because the same kind of storytelling shortcuts get used over and over and over again, and they were never effective to begin with, there's no excuse to compound the problem. Um, clarity, clarity, clarity. Over and over again, uh, I'll say that, that your storytelling has to be crystal clear and you have to tell the story as though the person reading it, you know, can't read the dialogue. <laughs> you can't let the, you know, you can't let the dialogue uh, save you. You can't depend on the dialogue to save you. You have to do it with pictures and, uh, you know, it needs to be clear so that one panel leads to the other. And in, you know, this case, it's great. I mean, it's okay, even though I, I don't know what the emotions are that are being expressed here. Um, uh, this page is also very good. And in this page, you know, I'm not sure because th these panels kind of, 
this panel doesn't lead to this panel. It doesn't, you know? And I, I, what I would have done here, by the way, is I would have inserted a close-up reaction shot of the troll, who I think just got bumped into from behind. I would have a, a close-up shot of his face, like, what, turning around? And then I would have the, the slash across the throat, which is uh, an effective kind of long shot here. Um, yeah, I think that would have been better. Um, well, we just need to work on um, making sure that uh, the storytelling is crystal clear. Um, the fact that her jacket seems to be green and her mask is green here, and then suddenly I assume it turns brown, uh, is really, really confusing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I'm still not positive that these are the same characters, but you know, that again, that is a, you know, that is one of the problems that I'm, I'm dealing with here as I'm looking at these pages. Uh, still in all, um, you know, good. We, we just, uh, we have some, uh, screws to tighten and, uh, I, I know you can do it, Daniel. Thank you for sending me your portfolio. I hope you guys, uh, got something out of it. Um, yeah, but yeah, like I said, in the future, make sure your pages are in order when you send them to me so that I could read your four to six page story. A lot of people are still asking, Hey, how do I send you my portfolio? The answer is simple. Um, please email me four to six pages of sequential art, not pinups, sequential art, um, uh, to Ethan, E T H A N one, two, zero, three, two at gmail.com. And, um, uh, or you can send it to my Twitter. You can, um, direct message me four to six pages of sequential artwork. I am at Ethan Van Skyver. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. Um, Hey, I want to thank everyone for the Patreon. Um, uh, all you Patreon donors, it's been really terrific. Um, I want to thank everyone who's donated to super chat. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting like on these videos. I mean, make sure that you do do that. Um, you know, if you're watching a video like this and you do enjoy it, um, clicking the thumbs up button below it uh, helps immeasurably um, for the channel to grow. And uh, I do appreciate your taking the time to do that. Okay, so until next time, uh, I'm Ethan Van Skyver. This is Comic Artist Pro Secrets, and thanks for joining me. It's no secret at all that I couldn't do this channel if it wasn't for support from you, my subscriber base, and my Patreon donors. If you'd like to join this community by pledging a dollar or more per month, go check out the link in the description below. And I thank you.